This is a AB calculus free response problem and that has to do with basic understanding of integral calculus and relationships between functions and relations. Basically, you have this table with time versus acceleration. And you have a heavy train initially stop begins moving the table above shows the train's acceleration in miles per hour per hour as a function of time measure in hours. And so you're taking a snapshot at each of these times in tenths of hours. So it's every six minutes apart, essentially. And the train starts out with this rate of acceleration and gradually the rate of acceleration goes down to zero after one hour. So the train is accelerating or speeding up during that first hour of travel. And you can kind of imagine this. You have a big heavy train and big heavy things accelerate slowly. So uh, there are three parts of this, A, B, and C. Use the midpoint Riemann sum with five subdivisions of equal length to approximate F of one, meaning at one hour. But before we even do that, I'm going to just make a little table up here, and those of you who've been in my calculus class this year and other years have seen this. Uh, opposite F, you have plus or minus, increasing, decreasing, and finally concave up, concave down, and down below this we put F prime, and we put plus or minus below the increasing, decreasing, and increasing, decreasing. And finally, we have F double prime, and we just put plus or minus below increasing, decreasing. And this F, F prime, F double prime is analogous to polisit, uh, position, velocity, acceleration. And so when we integrate, we're going to be going up from this line here, the acceleration to velocity. And so what we have is when we take, use a Riemann sum to approximate F of one, we're going to go from acceleration to velocity. And so we get here to B, we says F of one is going to be the speed or velocity or velocity, and we have miles per hour per hour acceleration, so we're going to have miles per hour. Those will be our units. Anyway, we're going to, so the speed, so we've answered Part B, the speed or velocity in miles per hour is quite obvious that's for the train. So we've answered Part B already. Okay, using the midpoint Riemann sum, and we have five subdivisions. So here is one of those five subdivisions. Here is going to be in another color, another one. We have so they, they kind of overlap. There's a subdivision here. There's three of them. That's four of them. Finally, that's five of them. So we have five subdivisions all highlighted by these these brackets. And so with five subdivisions, we need We'll say approximation or estimate of zero to one being one hour. We want f of one, right? A of x dx equals we put down five blanks for these five 
subdivisions. Okay, plus there's one more line here, or two more lines. So we have five. And so with five subdivisions, you can see that they're each going to be, if we take this one, divide that into five parts, we're going to be 0.2 each of them. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And then we have our midpoint. Well, we're going to have our first midpoint is going to be that 90. So 0 0.2 times 90. Our second midpoint is going to be this 80. I'm kind of color coding here. Okay, 80. This third midpoint is also going to be 80. And this fourth midpoint is 40. So now we have the train slowing down. Acceleration is, I mean, it's, it's still going faster, but uh, at an increasingly low rate. And finally, our final value in the point here is 10. And we could go ahead and, and uh, write these out and, and do crunch the arithmetic on it, but not necessary. We solved the problem. Now part C, which is the hardest part. And these types of free response problems, often the last part, C or D, is the, will be the hardest part. So if we assume the acceleration is constant, we just check where our velocity had to become. If we were accelerating at 90, essentially we start at zero and accelerate it at 90 miles per hour. So we have it like an average. We're going to have like an average Accelerations working on it for 20 minutes, and we have like an average velocity in that time. Well, let's see what the velocity is going to be after this period of time. We have we're going to have this first period of time, which is this acceleration 0.2 times 90. That's going to give us. I'll just point to 18. So we're going to increase to 18 miles per hour. And so our average velocity, because that's our final velocity after 20, after 0.2 hours. And so our average velocity is going to be half of that. Since we started at zero, acceleration was constant. So we had nine miles per hour. And we did that average velocity nine times 0.2 hours. So we're going to have 1.8 miles. OK, so really, really, that's it. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.